welcome back to another video guys Today I want to talk about this special looking bike I wanted to do this video last week I just didn't have enough time to put my thoughts together and I didn't have time to record it as I'm doing right now so the new 2022 limited edition Jack Daniels Indian Challenger Dark Horse wow it's a big big long name right there wow though wow 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 I am impressed like Indian just keeps surprising me every time they come out with something they dump new bikes out and they dump all this new tech on these new bikes and these cool paint jobs I'm very very impressed um, if you've been following me for some time now you know that I am a big Indian fan I'm not an Indian hater like some people are so yeah we got we got love for Indian over here um, and if I could have an Indian as a bike I would if I could afford another bike in the garage it, I would love to have an Indian chief or that challenger is kind of calling me now like damn anyways let's get into details let's see what makes this bike so special there's only 107 of them in the whole world so 107 bikes this is a very limited special special run um, we'll go over all the details right now uh, the design the paint job looks amazing uh, the certain things that they added to this bike this bike would kind of be it would kind of be Harley's CVO and I think if you put it next to a Harley CVO I think this with all the tech that it comes with and everything I think this is a type of bike that you're gonna get more bike for your buck than a CVO, speaking honestly. Now, let's run down the list of the cool items that this bike has. All right, so as far as the engine type is a Power Plus liquid cooled V-twin, it's pushing out 128 foot-pounds of torque and 122 horsepower. That's impressive, very good. Six speed, as we know, uh, six gallon gas tank, as we know, uh, it's only 107 of them that will be built globally as we know now another fun fact if you want to know uh, the design is inspired by Jack Daniels uh, renowned Tennessee rye whiskey now Indian does have a partnership with Jack Daniels which is pretty cool uh, to me now throughout the bike you're gonna see that Jack Daniels branding all over it on the sea on the tank uh, with custom engraves, uh, especially on the floor, on the floorboards as well. That looks pretty cool. The custom rye metallic paint scheme uh, with the gold and the green accents is so dope. I, I, I had to look really close to see those green little lines going through and I, I felt like that was a really nice touch to the paint job. Very, very nice. Now up in the front, we're gonna have the adaptive LED headlight, which is pretty cool. Um, upgraded power band audio in the fairing speakers and saddlebags, which is another cool thing. Uh, that provides up to 50 more percent more volume, which is awesome. Now, one of the coolest things that really stood out to me was the rear suspension fully adjustable with the preload. That's amazing. I, I don't see Harley offering that on CVOs. That's, that's, that's good job. Good job, Indian. So those were all the details on the bike. Um, like I said before, I love, love, love the whole paint scheme. I love the partnership with Jack Daniels. That, that makes it very special, very different. Um, I think they executed that amazingly. Um, and I, I don't know, like I, I kind of want to see this bike next to a CVO and, and just compare them and, and see what each bike has to offer. And just like on the track, let the best man win that that's i i really want to see that so if anyone's able to do that if anybody's watching this video like if you're able to get two of these bikes together do it that'll be a really cool royal rumble um yeah indian uh once again amazing great job with the indian challenger funny thing if you must know i have not been on the indian challenger yet i've been on the on the chieftain um, and that, I really like the way that bike rode. Um, I like the adjustable windshield in the front. That's pretty awesome. Um, I was supposed to ride a Challenger at a point uh, when they first came out with it, but yeah, I didn't have enough time because the line was crazy. Um, but I, I, I plan on getting on the bike. I'm really, really interested to get on that bike and testing it out and see how it does on the road. And I really, really want to compare that riding style when it comes to that bike and my uh, Harley Davidson road lad right here, as you can see, um, I'm really intrigued to see exactly where are the differences when it comes to 
the the powertrain, the riding style, suspension, the tech, every, every everything. You just want to put everything next next to each other and, and just compare them. Um, that'd be pretty dope. Um, I think that's gonna be it, guys. This was just my thoughts on the new Challenger. Amazing, great job. Um, drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about this bike. Um, and for a lot of you guys that are becoming more of uh, Indian fans now, would you be looking at this bike? Only 107 of them made globally, so good luck getting one. Um, I'm gonna catch you next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.